So now I want to talk about how to catch diurnal flying insects with the use of a malaise trap. So I showed you how to collect insects using a, a net, either a sweep net or other handheld net. Uh, now I want to show you how to actually use a trap for collecting diurnal flying insects. And this will be a malaise trap. Uh, right now what I'm holding is the top of the malaise trap and I'm going to set one up to show you how it works. This uh, container that the insects fly into, so they fly up into this container because they're attracted to the light. And on the lid, there's this yellow block here, which is uh, bug strips, which is this brand here. We just use these bug strips to put at the top here. It's, it has dimethyl chlorophosphate in there, which is uh, a killing agent. We call it uh, death cheese since it's yellow and squarish, kind of looks like cheese. So you put the death cheese at the top of this, the insects fly in here and then they die. And that's how you say that's how you set up a malaise trap. As you can see, it sets up kind of like a tent. What happens is insects, especially diurnal flying insects such as uh, flies and wasps and bees and some butterflies, have trouble seeing this green color. They fly into it and they hit a barrier. And most insects are attracted to the light. So instead of flying downwards, they keep flying up and they're confused by all these flaps. They fly upwards into this container containing the bug strips and then they die. It's always good that when you store them, these containers, you have a piece of paper that blocks the uh, uh, area. When you're ready to set up the uh, trap, you take the paper out, put the top on, and then you collect your insects. You leave this out for a day or two. Um, you, can, you can leave these out for almost a week. But the problem is when the insects fly in here and die, there's no solution to keep them soft. So they dry out very quickly. So I recommend collecting these on a daily basis. You come out with a Ziploc bag. You take the unit, and there may be insects still alive in there. So you want to shake them up a bit, take the top off. The specimens in the Ziploc bag will be very delicate. You want to be careful not to smash them. I recommend putting a few pieces of paper towel in there as well and then storing them in a Tupperware container uh, uh, until you get to a freezer or some place where you can store them properly. When putting a malaise trap away, you want to make sure that the strings and ropes are not tied in knots. And so there's a, a certain way to tie these ropes up Roll it up on my hands. Take that fold. So I have this loop here. I'm going to take this string, wrap it around that loop, and then I'm going to take the end of this string, put it through this loop, so it's up like this, and then that's going to go over rest. And then I pull it. So that's how the screen should be set.